Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to use the TI Inspire to help us find a critical value. Um, your textbook may denote it as T star with degrees of freedom or T sub zero. Um, this is what helps us to decide where the critical region or the rejection region starts. If it falls um, in a left tail to the left of this value, then you would reject. In a right tail, if it falls to the right of that value, you would reject. And in a two tail, if it's either to the left of the negative value or to the right of the positive value, you would reject. So let's get started. Um, in order to do this, we do need to know the degrees of freedom. Um, the degrees of freedom, remember, is always your sample size minus one, so we would use 24. And then the command that we're going to enter is we're going to use inverse T. Um, I will show you in just a second how to get there. The two things that you need to know are your um, area and your degrees of freedom. So for this one, for a left tail, our area would just be alpha. And our degrees of freedom would be the 24. Um, for a right tail, you would do inverse T. Um, because it's to the right and we always want to find the area, the calculator always gives us the area to the left, we would do 1 minus alpha. And for a two tail, we would do inverse T half of alpha with our degrees of freedom. So that's what we would program into our calculator for all of these values. So let me just grab the calculator and we'll go ahead and calculate all of them and then write them all done or, or all down and then we'll be all done. Okay, so to find this value, like I said, let's grab the calculator. I'm going to use a calculator screen for this one. Um, go to Menu and Statistics, and remember this is where all of our distributions are. And we want to use Inverse T, which is option 6. The area, like I said, was our alpha, which was 0 0.01. Um, the degrees of freedom was our sample size minus 1, which was 24. And then we just hit Enter, and it gives us our value, the negative 2.49216. Um, I'm going to just round it to three places when I write it down. Um, for the second one, you can go through that process again to find everything, or you can just use your, um, your mouse and move around, and we can just change this to 1 minus 0 .01, and it's 2.492. And then, like I said, for a two-tail, what we want to do is we want to do the inverse T of the original one, and we want to take and multiply this by time, 0.5. So we want to take half of our alpha, so I would do 0.5 times my alpha of 0 0.01 um, because the alpha is split between both tails. So we would write down both the positive and negative of this value. So like I said, for this one, the inverse T alpha degrees of freedom 24 would give us positive 2.492. Sorry, for a left tail should be negative. I wrote it down on my paper backwards. Um, so that would be our T sub zero or our T star. Um, for the right tail, we just write down the positive value, the 2.492, because it's above the mean. So anything more extreme than this, we would consider um, unusual and we would reject it. And for the two tail, we would write down both values, negative 2.797 and positive 2.797. So with this, hopefully you can use your Inspire to help you find your um, rejection region values. As always, thanks for watching.